Hi, I'm Sigrid, and here are some songs that has been very impactful for in my life. I think Chris Martin is one of my favorite songwriters. And first Coldplay song I fell in love with was Clocks. I was nine years old at a train station in Paris when I heard this song for the first time, and I was just like mind blown. You know, growing up and how you know they've always been my favorite band. There is another song that's very important to me, and that is Naive by The Cooks. You know, when you have this like internal thing with your friend where you're like. This is our song. That was me and my best friend Sara during junior high school and high school. We would always put this on and we were the only ones dancing and singing to it. I remember listening to River by Joni Mitchell. My mom is a huge Johnny Mitchell fan and she would play it all the time back home, but I didn't realize until like high school that it's a great tune and I could just listen to it with New Year's. I think I just needed to like grow up a bit before I understood how good it was. I love how simple, yet it's very elegant, especially in the way she moves for the vocals and melodies. It's beautiful. I always come back to the things that I listened to growing up. Something really nice about it. Reminds me of home. So my Norwegian favorite artist is called Gabriella or Gabriella and the song is called September or September. It's the one song we listen to before every single show we do with the band and it always it just gets me. The lyrics are amazing, the melodies, the vocal hooks, the production, everything is great and it gets me in a really good mood. I think there's definitely like a slight thing to Norwegian music especially with the vocals, because we don't have English as our first language, and I think that definitely colors the way we sing. And I think there's something with the melodies that are created in the Scandi pop scene. At least I tend to listen to melodies before I listen to lyrics. I love lyrics, but I always gravitate towards melodies, and I think that's, that's good when you want to create vocal hooks. <laughs> I love all of my songs, and that's very important to me, that everything I release is 100% me, and I've been co-writing all of them. There's particularly one song that will always be my favorite one, I think, and that is Don't Kill My Vibe. Don't Kill My Vibe is inspired by a writing session I was in. I felt patronized, and I didn't speak up, and then I got pissed off at myself for not speaking up because I thought I was the type of person to always do that. It's a quite em empowering song. <laughs> 